So this is um, day seven or a week, almost a week post-op after the ablation, the removal of the morena, the tubal ligation, and the endometriosis laparoscopy. And me, I seem to be healing okay. Talked to my nurse this morning. Uh, my incision site looks good. I still have some pain in my core and my abdominal as a whole, but more muscular pain. Um, no more endo pain still. Um, again, I woke up with a little bit of nausea and a headache um, that I can't seem to shake, but that is what it is. Um, the main restriction that my nurse gave me this morning was just to continue to rest and not to lift anything 10 to 15 pounds or more. Um, so we're going to continue that. So it looks, sounds to be good. And then I'll figure out when I go in and see him. Um, but quickly today, I just wanted to, because again, me sharing my journey and kind of documenting this out, I really wanted to also share the side of the support person in your life because whether or not it's your husband, spouse, family member, or anything like that, um, there's another side to all of this. I mean, I'm going through a, a lot of crap, but he's got to put up with a lot of crap too. So um, I thought I would ask him a couple questions about what it's been like going through this journey, trying to support me going through this journey. So. Um, my first question would be, um, what has been the hardest thing for you, whether it's been before the surgery or after the surgery? Not being able to do anything for your pain. That bothers me. Not being able to fix it. Yeah. I, I don't like seeing you in pain and I really don't like the fact that there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. I try to make things easier for you, you know, I, I help with the house, I do dishes, and, you know, I try to do things so that you don't have to, and yet you're still in pain and there's nothing I can do to help. Yeah. So, that's my biggest problem. That does suck. Um, so yeah, I know the day of surgery and the couple of days after you had to do a lot more than normal because I couldn't <laughs> do much of anything. <laughs> With the broken wrist. Yeah. So along the way, that I think it was the night before my surgery. Yeah. Um, I worked until <laughs> two o'clock in the morning Monday night. Uh, about three o'clock that morning, our one of our cats tried to kill me on the stairs. <laughs> I fell down the stairs and ended up tearing a bunch of the cartilage and ligaments in my wrist. So I had to go to the ER that morning. Uh, and get all splinted up <laughs> and then I um, came home and handled my daughter that day and then went to work again that night for another 10 hour shift came home at 2 o'clock in the morning and she had surgery at 6 o'clock that morning Yeah. so it was a rough couple of days for me Luckily, my friend Melissa took me that morning, so that way he could stay and try and get maybe a little bit more sleep, <laughs> and then get a I little bit off the bed. I'll be okay. Or off the bus. <laughs> um, so as far as recovery, um, have you found any challenges or any surprises with anything? Uh, no, I'm actually. If anything, I'm pleasantly surprised with the lack of any complications or pain spikes or you know anything like that because from the very next day yeah. you were kind of good. Yeah. You know your endo pain is gone, which means the surgery worked, and now you just have to deal with the fact that you I had a me. hole put in your belly button. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Yeah, and that's not natural. It's going <laughs> to no. sting a bit, and that's going to take some time to, you know, reheal. I understand yes. that. If anybody does, I do. Um, <laughs> With <I've>, healing. <laughs> I've had, what, 16 broken bones. You know, I've been through a few surgeries. 
I understand. Yeah, and you've actually done very, very well. So, before all of this, did you even know that endometriosis was a thing? No, I never heard of it. Nothing. I'm a man. <laughs> since all of this, since knowing and learning a little bit more about endo through me, have you found that it's like? Do you? T I don't know. Do you guys uh, talk about? Well, there's a couple guys at or... work that I feel like, you know, would understand what was going on. So, yeah. like Jeff and Casey, and it turns out Jeff's wife had it. Um, Jeff's wife's sister was starting to get the fibroids and the cysts oh, and yeah. all that. And she yeah. ended up having a full hysterectomy. And yeah. she feels a lot better for it and all that. So, I think that's been the most surprising thing for me is going through all of this because I didn't I was the same way. I'd kind of heard about it, but I didn't know much about it. And then as I've talked about it and shared my journey with it, I've had more and more people come up and say, oh my gosh, I'm going through the same thing. Or right. my mom went through this, or I know a friend who's going through this. So um, I've kind of learned more as I've spoken out more. So yeah. Well, thank you for following along on my journey. This has been the full week and I'll probably, um, stop with the daily updates <laughs> um but as far as i go i seem to be on the road to healing and then um following up with my doctor to check post-op and then the next step for me according to my doctor is probably a hysterectomy in the next six to nine months so i may have more of a journey ahead but anyway start doing weekly posts maybe yeah until, all the way up until the histo that'd be nice See what symptoms kind of progress and which stay or which come on. Keep a journal and then once you yeah. have the hysterectomy, keep an after log. Yeah. So. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.